Now at 5, 4th of July fire. The Jinx Fire Department is called back to the scene of a massive fire hours after it started. A family of six was sleeping when a neighbor spotted the flames coming from the roof. 2 News reporter Liz Bryant joins us from that home tonight live. Liz? Russ, you can see this home is obviously a total loss. Every single piece is charred. You probably assume a fire on the 4th of July is fireworks related. But the Jinx fire captain says it's not the case here. The, the, the phone was right there on the bedside stand next to the lamp. Cindy McHenry drove down from Wichita, Kansas to spend the 4th with her nephews and niece. We had probably been asleep about 30 minutes and for some reason I just woke up smelling something. The neighbor uh, who lives over here saw the fire before we, before we did. She came and beat on the door. About the same time that our, my sister-in-law noticed the fire. John Holland, along with his wife Teresa, Cindy, and the neighbor, rushed to get all three children out. Eli is the youngest. When I got out of the house, half of the roof was on fire, and our dad was trying to put it out with his tractor. Within five minutes of us being out here, it was just amazing how big it had grown. As John still searches for Cindy's phone, he thinks back to what could have caused this. We think now that's probably electrical. Earlier in the week, the Hollands lost an electrical line, and AEP came out and ran a new one. Appreciate, we'll appreciate everybody's hard work. They did an problem. amazing job. Not a problem. The fire wasn't finished last night. It reignited this morning, sending Jinx crews back out at 7 a.m. What's one thing you wish you could have gotten back? My iPad. I'm just working. Yeah. There should be missed calls from, oh my goodness, three missed calls. Kind of wet. And Eli will hopefully get his iPad back. The family has insurance and they plan to rebuild on this property. Now the exact reason for this fire, what caused it is not final. The chief and the captain will be back out here tomorrow. Live in Jinx, Liz Bryant, 2 News works for you.